At this time, Piper is 42, Hogan is 43, and Savage turns 44 the next month. Uh, Meltzer was very critical of the match between Hogan and Savage here, even saying that it was the ghost of Hulk Hogan that defeated the corpse of Randy Savage. So a little stiff in his review of it. Uh, you've spoken openly here on the show about your desire to retire by 40 because of the way that your father passed away in the ring. Yeah. But here you are, uh, or rather, but here are your contemporaries working against one another beyond the age of 40. What did you think of their continued involvement in wrestling? Well, you know, it's to each their own. You know, I mean, again, my dad was uh, 45. And, you know, there's there's a lot of things they know now, uh, you know, in terms of, of the body and, and, and ways to, uh, I would say, in our in the in our day of modern medicine the fact that my dad's arteries were uh, you know like as bad as they were could be detected mm -hmm. today back then they, they they couldn't do that i mean you know when they when they autopsied my dad they said one of his main the main arteries to his heart was almost totally full like full of crap i mean it's like this the the the, the the passageway of the artery, which is maybe this big, was like a pinhole for the blood to get through. And anyway, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I just made a promise to myself that I would not stay too long, you know. And I'm not seen. I've seen other guys. I mean, hey, one of my my biggest heroes is Terry Funk. Mm -hmm. And my gosh, Terry wrestled until he was almost 70, <laughs> yeah. I think. Yes, yes. And he yeah. would be here in WCW a few years later taking crazy risks, I think, in, in like his late 50s yeah. or, or early 60s. Yeah, and, you know, and I, it was kind of, kind of like, but I mean, I just, just a personal decision, you know, um, that I would not... Um, and then there's a, there's a lot of guys now. Terry look Terry continued to look good. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's not like he didn't look like a you know, he didn't look like a, a washed up old man getting in the ring. I don't and, think. And he wasn't he wasn't trying to come out there and be the this you know flashy technical wrestler by the by the later yeah. stages either. He was like, okay, I'm getting older. I'm gonna change my style now. I'm a brawler. And he yeah. would come out and brawl with people and have hardcore matches, and it kind of worked. Yeah. Uh, Ted, the next year at Halloween Havoc 97, uh, Piper and Hogan are going to face each other in a cage match. Um, so they're even a year older than they are here, of course. And uh, the, that match would be dubbed the age in the cage uh, just because of the, the, the age of these two guys climbing in, into there. I mean, do you think that featuring veteran talents against one another is the right approach, or should they have been paired with younger guys who can bounce around for them? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. It depends. I, I, mean, I guess it would, it would depend on the situation. Uh, you know, of course, I mean, where the fans are concerned, you get a couple of guys. Again, you get a, a Hogan and a, and, a, and a Piper and a Piper who are, you know, relatively the same age. And that's interesting. Um, you know, I, I, an older guy with a younger guy. I, and I don't know. I don't know. They might not have the same chemistry, older guy and a younger guy, right? Yeah. yeah. 